Alright, so this video is the first one that we're going to be talking about derivatives. And I'm just going to give um, a quick introduction to it so you guys kind of see visually what's going on here. So basically, um, the derivative, it's red, the derivative of a function at some point is uh, the slope of a tangent to the graph at that point. So what that means, let's say let's draw um, f of x is x squared. It looks something like this, right? And likewise, it goes up the same on the other side of the y-axis. So we'll just write this here. This is um, y is equal to x squared. So now, say we have a point. Um, it doesn't matter what point we have. We could have any point. So if we want to find the derivative at some point, uh, let's pick this point right here. What that is, that's the, that's the tangent to the curve at that point. So it looks something like this, right? Um, if we can find the derivative of the function here, we can find out what the slope is, what the tangent is. Now, how are we going to find this? Well, if you think about it this way, let's change colors again. Say we, um, say we pick a few other points. Um, Let's pick a point up here, right? Now if we connect these two dots with a line, we're gonna get a line that looks like this. Okay, now if we if we move our dot down a little bit closer to this point, and now when we connect, we, when we make a line going between these two dots, these two points, we're gonna get this line. And so now we're just gonna do this a few more times if we put one here, now when we connect these with a line, it's going like this. And let's do one more. Let's put a point, say, right here. And when we connect these lines, now what you're seeing is that these lines are getting closer and closer to the actual tangent line as we move the, the point uh, closer to our, our the point of interest on the line. So here we can do one even closer. Say we pick it right, you know, right here. Now when we connect these lines, like this is getting really close, right? Um, and if we know these points, we can do the rise over run. Um, and so we can find the slope of this line. And if we go a little bit closer, we'll find the slope that's a little bit closer to this. And if we make this distance, here, let's draw this out here in a different color. Um, let's do blue or red. Uh, let's do this color. So basically what we're looking at here is, let's call this point, um, let's call this point here x. And then we're going to add some distance, and let's, let's consider this point up here first. Um, so let's just draw a dotted line up here so we know what we're talking about. Um, and then we'll say the distance between this is h, right, from here to here. So this point, this x point, is going to be the point x plus h. That means that if this is x, then this point here is going to be f at x. Right? If we input x, this is f at x. And let's extend our axis up a little bit to there. And we'll see that here, if we go over to this point now that we chose, this is going to be f at x plus h. Okay, I hope I haven't lost you guys yet. This still makes sense. If you put in x plus h into the function, we're going to get out f at x plus h. So essentially what this is, for this first line, here, let's do this line in purple, because this is the one that, kind of the example one that we're using. So we'll just redo this one in purple. Um, oh, you can't really see that. There we go. So basically what we have, the slope of this line is going to be the rise over run. So the rise is the difference between f at x plus h minus f at x, right? So we'll write that here. The slope of the purple line is equal to f at x plus h minus f at x f at x over, now the run is h, right? It's from this point to this point. It's the difference. So 
over h. Now, just in case, you know, just uh, for further clarification, this is equal to the rise over the run. Now, we wanted the slope of the blue line, the tangent to this point on the curve. So what we were doing there is we were reducing this h value and staying on the curve. And as this h is approaching 0, and as it approaches 0, we're going to approach the actual slope of this line. So what we would say for that is we would just take, we would turn this into a limit. We would say that the, for the blue line, the one that we really want, or the derivative at that point, say that the limit as h goes to 0, and then it's exactly the same thing um, of f at x plus h minus f at x over h. Oh, excuse me, uh, this equal sign shouldn't be there. This is the derivative of the function, so uh, is equal to this whole thing. So I guess we could write it like this, is equal to um, uh, d over dx of f. Um, this is one of the ways to write the derivative. Um, there's actually a couple ways. We can write it, um, if we're talking about the function f of x, to represent the derivative, Let's just go into a different color here. To represent the derivative, we could call it, um, well, like we have here, d over dxf. This is just one of the notations. Another one we could say is df over dx. Or um, there's other ways too. You know, you could say f prime at x. Or even more shorthand notation would just be f prime. Um, some textbooks even use uh, it written like this, dx over f, etc. There's tons of different ways to write it. Or dx, um, you could write this, dx at f of x. I think you get the point. Uh, depends on which textbook you have, but these all mean the same thing. These are the derivative of the function, uh, in this case, f at x. So you know what? Let's actually find the derivative of f of x is equal to x squared. So we know that f of x is equal to f squared. We have that here. Um, now we're going to use this. This is called the, the limit definition of the derivative, this thing here that we just described. Right there. That's the limit definition of a derivative. So what we want to do is we want to find out what the derivative is. So we'll say f prime at x, I like using this notation, uh, is going to be equal to the limit as, uh, sorry, it's h goes to 0, as h goes to 0 of, well, let's write this in. So it's going to be f at x plus h minus f at x, f at x, there we go, all over h. And now we know that f, uh, our function f is equal to x squared. So let's rewrite it like this, actually. Let's say that d dx of x squared at x squared is going to be equal to, now same thing, the limit as h goes to 0. And now we are applying our x squared. So this will be equal to um, x plus h. all squared, right, because this is x plus h, this is the part we're talking about, minus f at x squared, so that was um, minus x squared, and this is going to be over, still going to be over h. So this is equal to, I'll write it over here first of all, uh, this is going to be equal to the still the limit as h goes to 0. So we can't actually substitute in 0 right now because it would still divide this by 0. So the goal is pretty much to get this off the bottom. So We'll expand this out. This will be x squared plus 2xh, 2xh plus h squared. Uh, this is minus x squared. And this is all over h. So let's just come down here. I think we're going to run out of room, so we'll write the rest down here. Um, now what we're going to do is, well, we still leave the limit part here. So we can't substitute out yet. Limit as h goes to 0. h goes to 0. Uh, and now what we're going to do is see this x squared minus x squared. Those will cancel out. 
and 2xh plus h squared, we can factor out an h. So of h times 2x plus h um, all over h. And now you see we can cancel out this h with that h. And at this point, um, well, I guess we can just rewrite it one last time. Uh, it's the limit as h goes to 0, h goes to 0, of 2x plus h. And now we can substitute in values that are really close to 0. And we're going to find out that if we do that, it will equal this all, it will equal 2x. Now this is really cool. This is the slope of the curve for y equals x squared at any point. Um, let's write this in a different color. This is at any point that has the coordinates x comma x squared. So like if we went up here, um, let's say let's do it in red. If we wanted to pick, you know, instead of this point uh, where the slope is two times the x coordinate, if we went up here, picked this point for example, the slope here, it's going to be steeper, right? Like the slope will be something like this, but the, the value of the slope is going to be two times this x coordinate. And same if you went here, and same if we went up here, the slope is going to be two times the x coordinate. And this is because this is the same formula, the same equation, it's going to work for every possible point. So anyways, you can use this, the limit definition of the derivative, to find the derivative for any function. Um, but when you have more complicated functions, like to do this, uh, it's really time consuming. So I'm going to spend the next couple of videos showing all sorts of different rules um, about taking the derivative of functions uh, that can save you a ton of time. So um, if you click here, click here, I'll finish writing that, an exclamation point, um, I'll take you to the next video and we will start learning about the power rule which will speed up this one really quickly and tons of others. So, see you there.